Hi. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about anisotropic and heterogeneous aquifers. This is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we discussed about permeability and hydraulic conductivity of porous media. But the point is these quantities, they may vary over a space. In other words, depending on the location of your measurement, you may get a different value of permeability and uh, hydraulic conductivity. And this is termed as heterogeneity, okay? Not only depending on the location, but also depending on the direction of the measurement, you may get a different value of permeability or hydraulic conductivity, okay? And that is termed as uh, anisotropy. So that's the definition. That is, if the hydraulic conductivity is independent of position, the porous medium is homogeneous, Otherwise, it is heterogeneous, okay? And if the hydraulic conductivity is independent of the direction of the measurement, okay, the porous medium is considered as isotropic and otherwise it is anisotropic, uh, okay? So this figure actually explains this con concept very nicely. So here, the first case, this is a case of this one. This is a case of homogeneous isotropic uh, aquifer or porous media. Why is that? Because depending the, the independent of the location, for example, it could be here or it could be here. Uh, independent of the location, you're getting the same value of the uh, permeability. Okay, so that suggests that tells this medium is homogeneous. And also the independent of the direction, you see here the Kx and Kz, they have the same magnitude. So independent of the direction, uh, in, in other words, the permeability is not a function of the direction of the measurement, okay? So therefore it, it is an isotropic uh, system. This one, on the other hand, that is homogeneous, but anisotropic, okay? Why is that? Because I'm talking about this one, uh, top, uh, top right corner, because you see here, independent of the location, no matter whether you do your measurement here or you do your measurement here, you're getting the same uh, permeability, okay? Uh, so it's a homogeneous system. But depending on the direction of your measurement, you're getting different values. You see here the vertical direction, you have less, than the horizontal direction. So, you know, the words, the, the value of the permeability is a function of the direction of the measurement. Therefore, this is an anisotropic uh, porous media, okay? And this case, this is um, uh, a, an example of heterogeneous, but isotropic system. Why is that? Because depending on the location of your measurement here versus here, you're getting a different value of permeability and hydraulic conductivity. So that means uh, by definition, this is a heterogeneous uh, porous media. But, uh, but the value of the permeability is independent of the direction of the measurement because uh, in the vertical direction and in the horizontal direction, in both cases here, you see the permeability is the same. So that is a isotropic system. And the last one, this one, is an example of uh, heterogeneous and anisotropic uh, porous media. Why is that? Because first of all, depending on the location here, versus here, you're getting different value of permeability that suggests that the media is, uh, is uh, the medium is uh, heterogeneous, okay? And also depending on the direction of your measurement, you see here the vertical one versus the horizontal one, you get a different value of permeability. Therefore, this is an anisotropic uh, aquifer, okay? And that was the basically uh, all about the definition of homogeneous, heterogeneous, isotropic, and 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 uh, anisotropic uh, aquifer. I hope uh, you found this uh, lecture helpful. Thank you.